From a Sailor Moon wand to a comic book to a little purple rabbit missing one of its feet, in this week's Las Vegas art scene, Amy Abdel Sayed sits down with Kushandra James, a local artist who uses those objects and much more to explore black experiences and cultural expressions in her artwork. Kushandra James is a storyteller. I love graphic novels and comic books. I'm a DC fan. Although she is a writer. I write science fiction, so uh, even though I'm not a scientist, so I have to do a lot of research for that, but it's also philosophical. Some of the most important stories she has to tell do not involve writing at all. I am a portrait painter. Kushandra is an award-winning artist who uses her paintings to start conversations. I want people to realize that there is no monolithic way to be black, that there is a multitude of ways to express that type of culture, and uh, that also it's not weird for a black artist to paint black people, because I get that question a lot. She grew up in Las Vegas and earned a BFA in English and Fine Arts from UNLV. It's in college where she was introduced to W.E.V. Du Bois. I took a black literature class and um, I discovered his uh, essay, The Soul of Black Folks. In his essay, the sociologist, historian, and civil rights activist writes about the veil. W.B. Du Bois uh, describes the veil as being a piece of cloth that every African American is born with and it distorts the image of themselves when looking in the mirror and their image for onlookers. It's a concept Kushandra explores in her paintings. Oftentimes, you'll see a prominent veil in the background. She says she grants her subjects clarity, pulling back the fabric from their eyes. What he's saying is that the black individual is gifted with sight and double consciousness and can see what other people can't. She also likes to paint her subjects holding objects. Take this painting of her niece, Skylar. Uh, she's holding a Sailor Moon rod. In the manga series, when Usagi, or Sailor Moon, discovers the wand, she becomes empowered. She discovers that she's a princess. For kids in school, Kishandra points out African-American history starts with slavery. And it makes people believe that there was nothing that came before that. And so it's the idea of uh, being a black uh, student and you having to go on and do your own discovery and finding out that we have royalty, we have doctors, we have scientists, we have artists. It wasn't until 2018 that theaters across the country screened a film with the first mainstream black superhero. A lot of times that um, dark skin is uh, associated with inherently evil or bad and that you can't typically be a superhero. In one of her portraits, Kushandra painted her second cousin holding a Black Panther comic book. Of course, people were very excited to see a superhero on the silver screen. We had Blade, but we never had like a cookie cutter uh, superhero before. If her work looks familiar, it might be because she was one of the top three finalists in Park West's Made in Vegas competition. While she didn't take the top spot, she really didn't lose either. The gallery was so impressed with her work, they offered her a contract anyway. Her third submission for that contest was of another second cousin, holding a purple rabbit missing a foot. I was playing on the concept of exploitation of the black body in comparison to the rabbit where it's supposed to be lucky for its foot, but it's like a contradiction because like how lucky can you be without your, <laughs> without your foot? Specifically, she points to professional sports. When it comes to athleticism and white people being exploited for their physique and not being valued for their opinion like basketball players. Kishandra's work has a lot to say, and while the young artist has clearly found a voice on the canvas, she's helping others find their voices too as a teacher. She's worked with middle school and high school kids, but most recently she taught an art class for active adults. And she's a wonderful teacher. You didn't even realize these colors would be beautiful together and shapes that you didn't even pay attention to. That you, some of them that you see every day, that you're walking down the street and you never pay attention to them. She brought all that to our attention. Kishandra says the learning goes both ways. I feel like I learn a lot more from them because there's the whole aspect of wisdom and there's the exchange. Whenever you're teaching, there's always an exchange of information, but I feel like I'm learning a lot more about um, the history of Las Vegas through them. You can find her work at the Barrick Museum on UNLV's campus and at a billboard on Highland Drive near the I-15 and Desert Inn Road after winning another art competition from Meow Wolf and Save Art Space. Her work has also been featured in Las Vegas and Henderson City Halls. As always, you can learn more on KTNB.com. For How To Vegas, I'm Amy Abdel-Sayed.